Hey, it's Simon. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to get painting leads from Google Ads in 2024 without feeling like you're just wasting your budget and getting zero leads in return. Now, before I start, if you're already running a campaign and you're just tired of it, maybe you're running those problems I just mentioned, go to my website at ameacquisition.com and read through it. And if you think that we could be a good fit, then book a call and we'll have a talk. Um, okay. So first, let me talk about why I think Google Ads is the best way to get leads. But before I do that, I just want to be very clear that with all these marketing methods that you might have heard of, some of them even tried, the thing with all of them is that they all work, okay? All of them work to get leads, to get estimates, to get jobs. You can make all of them profitable. The only difference is they have different pros and cons, okay? I'm going to talk about Google Ads in this video, but I might make a bigger video where I talk about each of these methods. So Google Ads is hands down the fastest way of getting leads, okay? You can literally put up an ad, have the landing page and everything set up, and start getting leads within hours, okay? The fastest I ever got was within 24 hours. Now, usually it's not going to be like that. You probably get it within a day or a few days or a week max. But still, out of all the internet marketing strategies you could use, whether it's SEO or Facebook ads, none of them are as fast as Google ads. Now, with Google, you're also going to get the highest quality and the highest intent online leads. Obviously, I'm not talking about referrals here because those are obviously really high quality and high intent. But with Google, what happens is that people are going to be typing in Painter Near Me, and then you'll be showing up. That's basically how it works. So somebody that's doing that, they're ready to paint. They're in the market, okay? If you give them a price they like, or if they, you know, they like your company and what you're about, that's all it takes to close the sale. What you want to do with these leads that you get is that you want to get a Google review from every job. And this way, you're not just, it's not just a one and done. You're not just getting a lead, completing the job, and that's it. You want to get a review from that person so that your organic profile can show up higher in the maps and so that in the future you can run LSAs. Now, LSAs are local service ads, and I'll have an image on screen that shows you what they look like. They show up actually above the traditional pay-per-click Google ads, which is what I'm talking about here. And to run them, you need to have the highest reviews in your area, at least in the top three. Now, an even longer term focus than this is with all these leads that you get, even the people that you don't end up doing the job for, you want to maximize the value of every lead that you get. So you want to build your database. You want to hold on to these people's contact information. So let's say once a year you send an email to people in your database and you ask them for a referral and you give them an incentive. So anyone that you refer to us will give them you know, 10% off or whatever. This can be a really good way of getting jobs basically for free because you only paid for that initial lead. You only paid one time. But the second job they're going to get from that person, you didn't pay to generate that job. Not again. You only paid for that initial person. So that's basically the idea. Now let me talk about the, let me show you the whole system. Now here's what the whole system looks like. Let me talk you through it. First, you've got the Google ad, okay? And I've made a whole video showing you how to run your own Google ads campaign. It's very long. I'll have it show up on the screen somewhere. You can take a look at that after you're done with this one. And you want to send that traffic, okay? Once people click on the ad, you want them to go to a high converting landing page. I also made a video on that. That will also show up on screen now. Basically, in that video, I talk about what a landing page is, and it's essentially a sales page. And the only function is to get people to submit a form or to call you. So it's not like your website where you want people to like, you know, get to know you more than anything. This page is just built to convert people, convert clicks into leads. That's its only function. So from the page, people can either call you or they can submit this form, which will then take them to your scheduling page and let them book their own estimate into your schedule. Now, obviously, this will be synced with your calendar, okay, so that you're actually free during this time and people can just um, schedule their own estimates. And I think this is really going to be like the next big thing. And the reason for that is because nowadays people just don't like to call, especially younger generations. So giving them a way to schedule their own estimate without, without having to speak to someone, it's really convenient. And I think you'll be surprised by how many people actually opt to do, to do it. Um, now, what happens after they book the estimate or even just submit the form is that all of this is going to be tied in with the CRM that's going to send automated follow-ups to the leads. So automated text messages and emails. So for example, if they just submit the form 
and then they don't actually schedule onto the calendar, they'll be getting texts and emails, they'll be reminding them, basically pushing them to book, a, book an estimate. So we'll be doing the follow-ups for you. Now, ideally, you'll still be calling these people, but still, this is also um, growing in popularity. I'm sure a lot of you guys know drip jobs, you might even be using it. That's not the CRM that I use, but it's the exact same idea. And obviously, after all this, somebody books in the estimate, it's just the sales process as usual. Then you complete the job, get the review, and build up your database, like I said. After all this, after somebody schedules their estimate and everything, you just go and do your normal sales process as usual. Now, if you, if you set up this whole process correctly, so you create the Google ad properly, okay, and you basically just do everything right, you take up all the space that you can, you write all of this stuff with compelling ad copy. Now, like I said, I made a video on this whole thing. It's a long video where I go step by step on how to create the Google ad. If you do that and you create the landing page in a way that makes people want to click, want to inquire about your services, and you get all of this set up, you could genuinely have a money printing machine on your hands. Now, let me talk more about the budget that you need for your Google ad. Like I said, this is going to depend on your area. In more high, com high competition areas, you could be paying like upwards of $50 per lead. Now that's obviously pretty high, probably higher than you might pay for any other marketing source. That depends on your company. If you're kind of a bigger company and you've got bigger margins and you can afford to do that, and you'd rather not be chasing leads around, because like I said, generally these are going to be the highest quality leads you can get, then Google Ads would be a really good way to go for you. Um, because with these people, they're at the bottom of the funnel, basically. They're at the bottom of the buy-in funnel and they're just ready to go, you know? I wouldn't recommend that you try running these Google ads unless you can commit to it for at least three months. That's how long it takes it to optimize and to basically bring down the costs of everything, right? Lower your cost per click, your cost per lead. It takes time to do that because you need Google to gather data. And um, yeah, so I think a three month commitment minimum is the best way to go. And if you can't do that, then there are better ways of um, you know, spending that money. Because like I said, Google would be the most expensive. I'd recommend a minimum of 1500 uh, a month to spend on Google Ads. Now, like I said, in some areas, this might be just really low and you might not get anything with that at all. But generally, it's a good place to start. Now, I've already made videos on most of the parts of this process. The video for how to create your Google Ads campaign, for how to create a landing page. I'm definitely going to create a video on how to create a scheduling page because I don't see it in a lot of painters' websites. And like I said, it could be really convenient for people who'd rather just not talk to someone, just put in their information, pick a date and time, put in their address so you've got all their information, and you can just um, show up to the estimate. And obviously, if you've got a good sales process, it's best to call them up beforehand and really take an interest in their job, you know, before you actually get there and build some rapport with the potential customer. Um, so like I said, I'll definitely make a video on how to create a calendar. And I might create a video on the follow-ups with the CRM, because like I said, like, this is the new thing, like this is the way that the painting industry is going. So I think that's all, that's all I've got for this video. If you want to start talking to people who actually want to do business with you, you don't want to be chasing leads around, and you want to fill your schedule with estimates and book jobs for your crews, then go to my website, ameacquisition.com. I'm going to leave a link in the first comment and watch that video, okay, and read through the block copy that I've got there. And if you think we could be a good match, you think there is space to work together, then book a call on the calendar and, you know, we'll have a talk. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. See you.